What's up? It's uh, Seabass with Step by Step. We're here at Hyman. What are you doing, man? Look at this. Black on black on black, man. It's a chain and everything. I had to come here. It's a finale. I had to come it's true. You know? Do you have the clock? Is it a clock? Uh, I, I gave away the secret. Does it look like a watch? It does, right? It does. I think. No, it could be a knife. It, it could, could be, be a, a bottle opener. It could be a boom box. <laughs> Man, uh, talk about just being here. So you think you can dance for now? You know, it's 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 crazy. It's been the fact that it's been ten years, and I was there for the very beginning of it. So it's, it's cool to see how it morphed, how it changed, how it the all stars, the choreo who the choreographers are now. You know, I was on the season with Travis, and now he's one of the most renowned choreographers of the game. Right. Which and I, we all knew going in that that was going to happen for him. You know, so it's cool to see the growth of every part of this show. And you know, it's what it's done for dance is surreal and amazing. To be part of the finale is an honor, and the fact that Nigel wanted to be part of the finale in this way, to open up the finale is, it, I mean, it's an honor, it really truly is an honor for me to be here. It's great, it's, uh, it's cool to see, um, I mean, where did you start out, like just, I mean, we, we just talked about how you remember being inspired by uh, Justin Timberlake's boombox experience on the VMAs, congratulations on the VMAs with Justin, by the way, um, but I mean, all of us started somewhere, we saw something, where was your, like, where was your first start where you're like, I'm gonna dance. Like, I saw the movie Breaking. Okay. And that, I was like, yo, I wanna do that. Right. That's dope. And I played sports all my life and whatever, but I, that was it. And then okay. seeing Michael and doing Smooth Criminal, okay. I thought like those two really set the deal. And that's when I started dance. Okay. Like just busting freestyle and watching Usher and stuff like that. Turbo with the broom yeah, and stuff. Yeah, you know, <laughs> floating on the ceiling and stuff. <laughs> anymore. <laughs> so, and then I remember I was 15 and I saw um, Like I Love You on the right, VMA stage. Right. And when I saw that, I, I, there was just something so cool about him. You know what I mean? When he walks on the stage, you feel like he's just the coolest guy you've ever right, seen. Right. And I thought, that's what I want to do. And that's why I moved to LA. That was the reason. And so, to look back on that and realize that 20, 12 years later, I'm on, on stage with, you know, dancing under Marty Kadelka, alongside Nick Bass and Sky Hoffman and Dana Wilson and Eddie Morale. I mean, these guys are legends, and I'm up there with them. I, I get chills talking about it. I, it's still, I don't think it's still sun chills. Like, it just feels that cool, you know? And so, it's, it's been a wild, wild ride. What were um, some of the pieces you did in the VMA uh, piece and adjusting these things? I did um, My Love, which is actually the one that I wanted to do my entire life. You know what I mean? <laughs> It's that step, man. Yeah. So my love, and I got to, I got to walk up on stage, and got to be just Justin, me, and Nick Bass, who I looked up to for years. So that just, you know, this, I hope that every person in their life gets to feel a moment where a dream comes true. And I know it sounds cheesy and corny, and I get it, blah blah blah. But I hope everyone feels that, like, that rush, of like, wow, I did it, right? Because that everyone deserves that moment in life. I mean, it's just, I mean, just to think about where you were in that moment watching his first performance and now you're there with him. At the I mean, VMAs. Yeah. You know, at, with us. It, it, I mean, it, you couldn't write fiction <laughs> to make that kind of story. You definitely can. Um, I mean,